Yeah, I mean, I think you've got to look at it glass half full. I mean, I think there's a lot of positives to it. I thought five on five, I thought we played really well. Uh, penalty kill was outstanding. Obviously, Rad's in net was great, and I think a lot of guys stepped up. And um, you know, TJ Lloyd played a lot of minutes on the back end for us. I thought he was awesome. Um, I thought uh, Nielsen's line was really good tonight. So, you know, there's a lot of positives. Some guys getting in their first NCAA games. Um, you know, at the end of the day, it's you know, it's it's a lot on our staff. Like we got to do a better job in the special teams category to get our guys prepared, and we didn't do that. And uh, you know, that's the difference in the hockey game. So. We got to do some things as a staff. We got to fix up. Um, players got to, you know, come back tomorrow, get rested, and you know we should be ready for enough, another tough battle against AIC. How much preparation did you spend uh, in the preseason on shootouts specifically? Not a lot. I mean, we didn't spend a lot. You know, for us, it doesn't. You know, it, yeah, it's nice for the fans. It's nice if you feel better about it, but it's still a tie. And ultimately, our goal is to, you know, play where, uh, you know, where. At the end of the year, the NCAA's, and so you know, for us, a shootout doesn't mean as much. Uh, we saw a lot of physical play tonight, mm -hmm. but I think compared to last season, uh, a little bit more discipline. Uh, specifically, the shift that stood out to me: Connors in the in the second just hit three or four people and didn't take a penalty. You know, what did how have you seen that that aspect of your team grow, uh, keeping the Physical level high, but also not taking penalties. Yeah, I think we're pretty disciplined tonight. Obviously, you want to lower it a little bit. You know, five, five power plays uh, or five times being on the penalty kill. I think we got to get that number down a little bit. But you know, I, I thought the guys did a good job. Played physical. Played hard. Um, you know, it gets tough in those special teams games. You know, we don't. We're, we're a team that wants to roll four lines and play all our guys, and then in those special team situations and probably playing your top guys too much. And I think it showed in the three on three. I just don't think there's a lot of gas in the tank uh, for some of those guys. Does that tank get deeper as the season goes on, more conditioning, stuff like that? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, you don't always have games like this too, but uh, yeah, guys will be, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll muster up the adrenaline, they'll be ready to go for tomorrow, they'll take care of themselves. and. You know, when the puck drops and the lights are on, they'll be ready to play. How much of a momentum shift is it uh, when your opponent can kill two five-minute uh, power plays? Yeah, it's massive. I, I think, too, you feel it on the bench, right? I think you lose momentum on those power plays. And, you know, I, I didn't think we were buzzing it around. I thought the second five-minute major was a little bit better, but I still think you give up those chances. Rats. I mean, on the first five minute, Rats had to make more quality saves than their goalie did on it. So, you know, that's an issue, but ultimately that's on our staff. Like, we got to do a better job of getting the guys prepared, and we'll be do a better job tomorrow. Yeah, it was great. It's, uh, you know, a pleasure to be here and play for the guys. And, you know, after transferring, I'm super happy uh, that I'm here and really grateful for the opportunity. So, just excited for the season to get going and um, just continue this hard play. When did you find out that uh, you were going to be tonight's starter? Uh, yesterday after practice. Um, that helped give you some, some extra time to, to mentally prepare to lock in rather than you know not knowing last night, waking up this morning? Yeah, I mean, you know, finding out as early as you can is always great, but um, I always prepare the same way every time, not whether I know or I don't know. So uh, you never know if you're going to go in the net, um, even if you're not, you know, called on to start so uh, you just always got to be ready but uh, if I'm if I know earlier then yeah it helps me out a bit you know obviously penalty kills a huge part of the game you're a huge part of the penalty kill but what did you see from uh, the kill unit in front of you today yeah well, AIC's power play is pretty aggressive they get a lot of pucks to the net so um, <clears throat> our guys were doing a great job of clearing the net fronts and that was kind of the game plan for us is to win the net fronts and, and box guys out, tie up sticks. So uh, I just saw a lot of kind of clear lanes and shots from the point, which was, you know, makes my job a lot easier. So props to our killers and our D for that, uh, especially so. Any extra confidence heading into tonight's game? Um, because you have seen um, AIC before. Yeah, I played, played a lot of AIC when I was at Holy Cross. So um, you kind of get a good feel for them just playing uh, against them quite a bit, but they have a pretty new group, a lot of transfers and uh, a lot of changes just like us. So, um, I mean, you never really know if they have any changes to their lineup or their game plan, but 
I think it definitely helps just having the experience playing them quite a bit. Uh, what happens uh, for you and the rest of your teammates tonight into tomorrow before 4 o'clock? Yeah, I think we, we had a good game. Obviously, there's some things that we need to clean up heading into tomorrow, but I think you know, just building off, it's the first game. Things aren't going to be, you know, super sharp um, right off the gate. So uh, I think it's just take this one, um, kind of learn from it, go over what we need to work on for tomorrow. And, uh, you know, I thought we had a great game, so just continue to build off of it. Thank you. Thanks, man. Thanks. Thanks man.